Hey, what's up everyone? Here's what I think could likely be what is going to happen within the next few years regarding the peace process in the Middle East. Right now, President Trump is on the side of Israel, and he is on the side of the people of the United States, and that's that. He's not changing his stance on that. And he says he's on the side of God, and he's on the side of Israel and the United States. But what I think is happening because of all of the chaos that's ensuing because of what he's done, now, he's doing the right thing as far as what God would want, as far as what it's stated that God would want. Now, what I believe, this is what I believe is likely to play out with these these peace plans. After President Trump does what he does regarding the Middle East peace process, this is what I believe is happening or, or could be happening with the peace plans in the Middle East. I think they're going to make this deal seem so bad, the deal that President Trump has made, that whoever comes in next is going to seem like a savior for the people over there and make a false peace for the Muslim majority in the Middle East. That's my idea. That's what I think will happen, or likely will happen. They will try to, or pretend, to fix the crisis and they, that they claim was created during this time. The only crisis is that the, uh, they're creating a, a false crisis to uh, make it seem like it's all it's horrible. All he did was give that little little bitty piece of land back to Israel or to Israel, and they're all in arms about it, tromping on his face, burning the United States and Israeli flags, and acting very uncivil. All over, while while at the same time, a civil war is breaking out in the country or the continent of Europe. I mean, in the continent of Europe. while we see many other things relating to prophecy happening as well. So that's what I believe. I believe that what's happening with the peace plans right now, I think they're going to make this deal seem so bad that whoever comes in next is going to seem like a savior to them and make a false peace for the Muslim majority in the Middle East. That's what I think. They will try to pretend or pretend to fix the crisis that they claim was created right now during this time and administration. And I believe that they, they will be, or they could be the false, that could be the false peace. And could even be the final Antichrist. It could be the final Antichrist, who knows. But that's just a thought of mine. Because with what we see now, the blueprints and the groundwork of the building of the third temple, some say it's figurative, some say the temple is literal, some say uh, some say different. But there are various interpretations, but the majority, I think, state that there will actually be a physical temple for sacrifice, because sacrifice will begin again. And right now they say this is the beginning of the building of the third temple. President Trump has put all of these things in place, regardless of whether it seems that way, he's put all the things in place where prophecy can unfold. And uh, it seems to be happening naturally. Regardless of what we do, it seems to be happening naturally. I mean, it seems to be unfolding. I know Damascus has to be hit. I do know that uh, the temple has to be built. I know that all these things have to happen. I don't know why. It seems like we're here, and then all of this has happened, and all this turmoil. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why people can't go to the Lord, and that's that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have all of the answers, but that's my idea on what's going on as far as this peace process. And I think 2030 is going to be a pivotal point. That's the end of 2030. That's the Sustainable Development Agenda year. That's the year they have outlined for this process and this document. Even though President Trump got rid of the TPP, they still have the Sustainable Development Agenda. Sounds like a great thing in its outline. It's got several things in it that have to do with world control and maintaining population under a certain amount. 
you can look it up and find that out for yourself. But the thing is, what we see happening now is playing a major part in that regardless. And I think that the next administration and the next leadership, we see so much crisis happening that I think that the next leadership that comes in, I think they're going to try to claim to fix all of this. Who knows? Maybe a world leader will step in. Also, if you look at the fact that there will be a solar eclipse trek its way across the United States in 2024. The other one went this way. That solar eclipse is going to go that way, making it X across the United States. So, and then, seven years later is a year after 2030 when the Sustainable Development Agenda is supposed to be implemented. So, I mean, just think about it all. Think about it. But that's what I think. I think they're going to make it seem like that this deal was so bad, whoever comes in next will be acting like a savior or make a false peace or something for the Muslim majority in the Middle East. And that's what I think will happen. Could happen. I don't want to be a false prophet, but I'm just I'm just making speculation. They'll try to pretend to fix the crisis they claim was made right now during this time. And I do believe that that would be the beginning of the false peace. And it could even be, who knows, it could be the final Antichrist who implements it. Who knows? That's a thought of mine. Give your thoughts. My links are below. And uh, if you'd like to help support, if you would, it would help out a lot. And uh, if you like my content, feel free to do so. I thank you all. Keep a watchful eye out. And much love. God bless you all. Links are below. Peace. Give your thoughts. Bye.